Muslims come from every country in the world and speak every language in the world. Only about 15% of Muslims are Arabs, and of course not all Arabs are Muslims. When we actually listen to the voices of, of, of a billion Muslims, what we see is that often the reality goes against what has become the conventional wisdom in this country. This idea that they hate us because of who we are, which gained tremendous ascendancy in the immediate years after 9-11 and still holds sway in very large quarters of the American populace, is a very dangerous one. Because what you see from things like the Gallup poll is that that's actually not true at all. We went into Muslim-majority countries around the world, not just in the Middle East, but in Asia, in, in the former Soviet Union, in Europe, and in Sub-Saharan Africa, covering 90% of the global Muslim population, making this the most comprehensive and complete poll of Muslim opinion ever done. And if our government is so deeply engaged with this part of the world, we as American citizens have a patriotic duty to understand the dynamics of those society to keep our democracy strong by being well informed as citizens. People here are hungry for knowledge, for improving their lives, for just doing th better things for their kids. There is so much for, you, for, for the West to share. But then yet, you cannot share through the barrel of, 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 of a tank. It's only by hearing the voices of ordinary people that we can engage the world based on facts, not fear.